Ha ha, back in the building. CEO of Paradox Films. It's Charles Armstrong coming at you. I'm just coming at you today really to bring you some a little bit of news about the new 3D Studio Max 2014 and show you a fence rig that I got set up. Just just playing around and getting a couple things set up for a production that we're doing for a character called Chuck Bueller. So we kind of constructed everything in ZBrush and brought everything over in the 3D Studio Max 2014 and created more targets. And it created a couple of little simple facial rig controls. So, you know, we're going to show you a little bit of interesting things and how we do things around here at Paradox Films. I want to give a big shout out to Pat Hamilton at Video Inertia, one of our partners at USA Film Company, atlfilmcompany.com. Check us out at lafilmcompany.com. A big shout out to Mad Lion. Killer Pride Records. Check them out. KillerPride.com. New Karis One 20th album dropping this year. I want you guys to check that out. Search YouTube for just like that. Karis One. Produced by Mad Lion. Video shot. Special effects. Paradox Films. And another shout out to our another animation partner. Home Invasion TV. DeMarco Allen. Check them out, Home Invasion TV on YouTube. A lot of hot animations popping. In. A lot of good things popping this year. So let's get into it real fast. We're in Max 2014. This is our character here, Chuck Bueller. And what we have here set up is we have a we have a few little controls here, some splines set up, circle, a square, another circle and a line. And what these controls are set up for is to help our facial animation just a little bit easier so we don't have to do everything by hand and move vertices around and you know this makes things a little easier. So this isn't a complex rig right here that I'm showing you. This is just something I set up just so you can get an idea of what we're doing and kind of what I'm showing you. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna create a tutorial on how, how to create a facial rig similar like this but I'm gonna get a little bit more in depth and we're gonna also do a tutorial about rigging your animation and getting your characters rigged and bone structures and applying skin and applying muscles and all that good stuff but pretty much what I got set up here is I got a circle here that's constrained to this box And when you move it around, we got our facial expressions. I just put a few of them on here just to give you an idea. Kind of what these controls can do. It's pretty awesome, so you don't have to manually try to adjust frames and do things. You can set up a control to control as many morph targets as you want like I move this down the eyes closed I move it up the tongue stick out so it's pretty cool you know it makes things a whole lot easier when it comes down to our pipeline and getting productions out way more faster so you pretty much if you're pretty familiar how to build characters in 3D whether using Maya or using 3D Studio Max or Cinema 4D most of the the same characteristics apply to most programs but if you guys are using 3D Studio Max I can really show you how to build these controls you can also build these controls to control your arms and you know different animations and walk cycles and stuff like that and we'll kinda get into that a little bit more in depth so let me show you kind of how we got this set up. Some people don't know that 3D Studio Max does have layers like Photoshop. Even though it is 3D space, there's still layers and ways of organizing things. 
So I'm going to open up my layers here and I'm going to show you how my morph targets are set up. In them. If you don't know what morph targets are, morph targets are objects made of the same object that are manipulated so you can morph that object into the same object but into a different shape. So let's say I have this mouth and I want to close it. I would create a morph target using the same head and I would just close the mouth and keep the same vertices. So it can morph. So I'm gonna show you all the morph targets I have to create the mouth movements for this Chuck Bueller character here. So here we have about nine heads with different mouth expressions, which I have labeled A, E and the I, O. UWQ. So these are like the different, like your F right here. The L. The M, the B, and the P. So we got all these different facial expressions just to make up one character. So if you plan on doing any type of facial animation for any 3D characters, you're going to have to build morph targets in order to get your, your character talking. There's no ways around it. Unless you build a super complex bone system, which should take you way more time. But I would suggest you learn morph targets. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Check it out. Check out a few... Um, character modeling videos if you're not real keen on modeling look in the zbrush also real real good modeling program and you know I'll definitely show you guys how to set up simple facial rigs and get you an idea on how to work and you can start adapting your own ways of building your own rigs this is very simple. I usually build way more complex rigs than this for my facial expressions. But this is just something just to just to give you an idea of what can be done with 3D Studio, ZBrush, and the tools within 3D Studio. So go to Autodesk.com, download a trial of 3D Studio. If you like it, buy it. It's a great tool. It's a great program. Definitely get a lot done in-house. Not a big Maya fan, but it's a great program. Been using 3D Studio Max for quite some time now. And I enjoy it a lot. So I hope you guys kind of see what possibilities you can have and where you can go and where you can take things here. And come back to my channel. And check us out and get ready for the new series, Chuck Bueller. Chuck Bueller's Day Off, the TV show. It's going to be crazy awesome. So we out. Charles Armstrong, Paradox Films. Check us out, USA Film Company. Check my website out, lafilmcompany.com. Also check out... ATL Film Company, Video Inertia, and KillerPride.com. We're coming at you 2013. It's going to be craziness. Stay tuned. Got some crazy tutorials for you coming soon. Peace.